What's the most important thing to create a holographic sonic image? This question comes all the way from Würzburg, Germany, from Konstantin, and he writes, You've been praising speakers with holographic imaging many times, and I wanted to ask you, which contributes more to this characteristic? Is it the crossover design, or is it the speaker drivers themselves? Thanks for your videos. My pleasure, sir. I would have to say crossover design. Drivers, of course, are important. Everything we do in high-end audio is a system. So in order to get a holographic image, you need more than just great speakers. You need great electronics. You need a good source. You need good cables and wires. Whew, I like getting skinny. Yeah. You like that? Getting better. We'll talk about the EAT diet at some, at some other point. Because I, I wrote a book called The EAT Diet, E-A-T Diet. Go on to Amazon and, and, uh, and pick up a copy if you're interested. A couple hour read. That's, I, it's an engineered, it's how an engineer would lose weight. And, and it works. So kind of cool. Anyway, uh, we're, we're not on to diets. We are on to holographic imaging. And it's all part of a system, of course. But specifically to his question, I have seen gifted designers uh, like, um, oh gosh, uh, what's his name from um, ELAC. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll think of it in a second because he's, he's a, a very, very gifted designer. And he has taken cheesy drivers, I mean, come on, and yet made them sound wonderful. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's quite gifted at being able to do that. And, and now, we, we like, in, in our speaker designs, we, we, like, <laughs> we try and do great drivers, as I'm sure he, but he's working to a budget, for goodness sake, those speakers are hundreds of dollars. So the um, drivers we use, of course, we, we put in a lot of effort to make them great, but the fact that a designer with a good set of chops can take mediocre drivers or great drivers or even cheap drivers and make them sound holographic with the right electronics, that says to me that it is mostly in the crossover design. And crossovers are, are tough. I mean, if, when you're trying, in a simple thing, you've got a crossover between a tweeter and a woofer, so you're, you know, you're, you've got a low pass and a high pass filter, and they gotta blend together in such a way that you get a smooth response. And the phase angles don't upset things too much. And you've chosen the components that go into it and the slopes that go. I mean, it, it's, crossover design is the art of speaker design. Drivers, important. Yep, Chris Brunhaver, who is our speaker, our, our lead speaker designer, guy's brilliant with, with designing amazing drivers. But at the end of the day, it's right here in the listening room where we put those crossovers together by ear and measurement to get them right and create sound that is detached from the loudspeaker holographic, presented behind the speakers, that is mostly in the crossover and the electronics. Okay, thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.